welcome back. It's Marissa again, uh, here for another update. Thanks for coming back to see me. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is week 11. Uh, wow. Yeah. Still can't, it's kind of weird to say that. It just, it just seems like this whole process has just flown by so quickly. So, I don't know, but that's what it is. So here I am. Um, in my last video, I talked about um, my concerns with Thanksgiving and the holidays coming up and how I was going to approach all that. And I'm happy to say that everything went to plan. Um, I eyeballed my portions because I didn't take like measuring cups with me to my aunt's house where I had dinner. And everything was served buffet style, so it kind of gave me an opportunity to just kind of just, you know, portion out what I plan on eating. And it worked out pretty well. Um, and, it, you know, I stayed under the radar as far as, like, what I was eating. I didn't, like, really make make a big fuss about, you know, what I had on my plate. And no one else seemed to notice, and it was great. So I didn't have to get into anything because uh, in one of my early, early videos, I talked about how I was not going to really disclose any of that with my family. Simply because it's just, uh, um, I want to avoid any kind of chit-chat or any kind of you know, like, controversy, like, oh my god, why did you do that to yourself? Um, I just wanted to spare myself that, so I didn't say anything. Um, and yesterday, I think, was kind of a trying week because I was up north by my parents' house. I drove up Tuesday night, went to the concert, and then I didn't go to my mom's until Wednesday. I was there Wednesday till Sunday, till yesterday. And I feel like when I'm away from <clears throat> home and away from, like, the workplace, like, I kind of tend to get a little bit off my schedule. You know, I'm not as diligent about getting my water in, getting my protein in. I lose track of time. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't take my calcium. I still have to eat one more meal. You know, so I found myself drinking protein at like 11 o'clock at night. I was just kind of erratic all over the place, and that kind of throws me a little bit. So I wasn't feeling like super confident, even though I had gone out and walked every day except Saturday where I was just in a total funk. I think I was just tired. Um... So I wasn't feeling like too great, like I had really successful like weight loss or anything. So actually, um, I had chose to stay off the scale. Uh, when I went and stayed to work, I said, ah, I'm not going to do anything till Friday. I'll just stay off the scale. I'm not going to worry about it. <clears throat> but then the more I thought about it, the more I just said that this is reality. So I have to kind of get real. Can't avoid it. So I did weigh myself. And, um... Uh, I lost four and a half pounds, so, okay, I'll take it, yeah, so that was, that was enough to put a smile on my face, and, um, so, as of today, which is November 29th, 2010, I had my gastric bypass ruin Y surgery on September 13th, I am down 60.5 pounds, 60, I crossed the 60 mark, um, what can I tell you? It's unreal. Um, I have never lost this much weight, substantial weight like this, ever, and I'm just rounding the corner, <laughs> keep going, you know, and everything is just super hopeful, and Ruin Y, gastric bypass surgery rocks. What can I tell you? It's the best thing I've ever done in my life, and I would recommend it a million times over for anybody that's considering it. Um, I definitely feel as if I'm in control now, and uh, it's wonderful. It's a great place to be, sincerely. So, yeah, I'm just really excited about that. Um, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, my concert, I'll touch briefly on this. I went to go see Fran Healy, and as always, he was awesome. And I'm so glad I made the trip up, because I went directly from work. I left to work a little bit early and drove up to Chicago. And um, it was kind of like a rough day because it's a long day, but it was so worth it. And um, we chatted with him after the show and that. He's just really super cool and really unassuming and just a nice person. And uh, my friends and I have seen him play so many times. <laughs> kind of like, hey, what's up? So um, here's my new picture. So here it is. Yay! So yeah. He's supposed to be coming back in April, so we're probably going to plan some kind of like road trip fun thing for that. So that's something to look forward to. Um, somebody asked me in, another, in one of my comments or something, they asked what I was doing now. So um, I'm kind of going to give a little bit of a rundown of like my daily food intake and what I do. Um, first of all, I drink minimally 64 ounces of water per day. 
sometimes I'll do uh, 96 ounces, just depending. Like today, I'll do 96. Um, then I do, um, and that's either plain water, um, water with lemon, or I'll do crystal light. Um, I do 20 ounces of liquid protein. That would be um, 10 ounce, 20 ounces of milk. I do 1% or fat free. My dietitian recommended that I do 1% or 2%, but I eat cheese and all that, and I get fat from there. And so I don't, I don't personally feel that I need to drink the the 1% milk. Plus, I don't like thick or type consistencies of milk, and I really prefer skim. So I just stay true to that, and I drink skim. So I do. Um, two scoops of this. This is Designer Way Protein. And um, I get this from the vitamin shop uh, online. And one scoop is 18 grams of protein. I don't know if you could see that. And um, two grams of fat. So it's pretty reasonable and 100 calories. So I do two scoops and then I do 20 ounces of milk. So for one, if you cut that in half, one of those servings it's 28 grams in 10 ounces of milk. I'm, sorry, I'm not trying to be confusing. So totally, I mean total, can't even talk today. Um, and the whole thing all together, it's 56 grams of protein. This protein for me was like the hardest thing to get in because I went through so many different protein shakes. I didn't like the way they taste. I tried Isopur, didn't like that. I went through so many things. So this actually worked for me well. Then on top of that, I do 10 ounces before I go to bed, my like my little snack at night is another 10 ounce glass of milk, skim milk, um, and that's 10 extra grams of protein. So right there I get 66 grams. This is not counting any of the food I eat, which has protein as well. So um, when I get into the food bit, I'm doing three ounces at each meal. I do two ounces of protein and an ounce of fruit at breakfast, two ounces of protein and an ounce of vegetable, at lunch, and then two ounces of protein, and an ounce of starch at dinner. Now I am 11 weeks out, and this is all per my nutritionist. So um, I know different different doctors give different, and different nutritionists give different plans and have different ideas of what you should be eating and not eating at this point. But this is just the way you know it's been for me. So as far as like the morning goes, I'll have I buy Weight Watchers yogurt. And I'll do two ounces of that, and then I'll do an ounce of fresh banana, or I'll do fresh blueberry, or an ounce of, of um, natural, like all no sugar added applesauce. Uh, I'm trying to think whatever. I've done like two ounces of cottage cheese, and then the fruit. I've done um, canned peaches, um, and I drain out the liquids so they don't have any um, syrup or anything like that. For lunch, Lunch is kind of all over the place. I do a lot of fat-free refried beans, um, so I'll do two ounces of that, and then I'll do I'll do a vegetable. Vegetables are hard for me to get in. I'll be perfectly honest with you. So my vegetables are very random. Sometimes I'll just bring I'll mix in like um, an ounce of diced tomatoes in with the beans, or I'll do um, I'll bring in fresh tomato or sliced up. Um, little carrots and I'll do two ounces of um, turkey meat like from the deli. I get no sodium added. Um, I try not to stick to soups very much anymore. My, my nutritionist actually told me to kind of steer away from those. Um, tuna fish, tuna salad, um, or I could do, or I do like a hard boiled egg. So two ounces would be a whole egg. Uh, I do like a hard boiled and then the other ounce of vegetable, I, I, I do like, I do like the frozen, so it just depends how much time I have and how creative I'm feeling, um, so, um, let me think what else, dinner is the same thing, I do a little piece of chicken, or I'll do, um, meatless meatballs from Trader Joe's are really good and high, and they're relatively high in protein, um, let me think what else, all kinds of meat. I mean, ground, lean ground beef. The starch, I tend to just do um, a couple crackers, like uh, Wheat Thins has like a high fiber vegetable cracker. I do just two of those. I don't even have a full serving. Just something to nibble on. Um, 
Or I do the blue corn tortilla chips from Trader Joe's. Those are really good, low in fat, and they do have protein. Um, let me think what else. I do get a little bit of food carried out here, and it's all regional where I live, and I live outside Indianapolis. And um, there's a great Italian restaurant that does these homemade meatballs. And so sometimes I go in there, and I'll just order two meatballs, and they're frozen for me in my uh, freezer, and then I get their tomato sauce. So I do kind of do that a little bit. Um, that's not very helpful for anybody who doesn't live here, but... Yeah, I mean, it's all very basic. I'm not like a gourmet chef or anything, so... What I eat is very, very just kind of to the point. I don't do anything fancy. Um, I'm trying to be more adventurous with my cooking and experimenting, but that's that's kind of like a little road I'm just now starting to go on. It hasn't been that, you know, great so far. I'm trying. Um, let me think. And of course, for snack, you know, between meals and that, I just always have my popsicles. I eat popsicles a lot. So that also adds to my liquid intake, which is very helpful. Um, basically, that's it off the top of my head. I'm sorry if it sounds like it's a little haphazard the way I'm kind of just railing off that stuff, but I'm just trying to base it on what I have from a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's about it. Um, yeah, I hope I miss anything. I'll probably add it in the description, but I think that's basically what I have uh, most days. Um, let's see what else. String cheese sugar-free pudding as a protein, you know, string cheese as a protein. Of course, everything is weighed and measured. Um, actually, the only thing I weigh per my nutritionist is meat, and everything else, I have little ounce cups that I, or a two-ounce cup, depending on what it is, um, two ounces of the protein, and like little miscellaneous fruit, vegetable, or starch, um, the ounce cup. But obviously, if I'm having crackers, I kind of just distinguish on my own um, what I'm getting out of that. So. Um, for me, the key is movement, watching what I'm eating, and drinking lots and lots of liquid. That, I think, once I stepped that up, I really uh, found that I was noticing a lot of difference. So, um, that's basically, you know, where I'm at with that. Um, so, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, and uh, thanks, everybody, for your support and your kind words. Everybody, you're so great, and thanks for supporting me on my journey, the ups and downs of everything. It's been great, and um, yeah, thanks to all my new subscribers. Welcome. Hi. Uh, thanks for subscribing to my videos, and um, yeah, thanks everybody for everything, and I will be back with another update next week, so everybody have a great week, and uh, yeah, we're moving into December this week, too. It's crazy. Time is flying. Um... Yeah, so uh, I didn't get to talk about Black Friday, but you can only imagine, so I'll just leave it at that. Anyway, have a great week. Talk to you guys later. Bye.